Hello. Well, here we are, about to start. Is it the second session of breakdown printing? I think it is. I think it's just session two. I think it is. I mean, I'm looking at what I got out of what we've done so far, and it seems amazing to me that it is only session two. And I'm hoping you're feeling the same um, with your materials. I've had an abs absolute ball with session one completely rekindled my love of breakdown printing um i could just go on and on and on and on so i said i'd just have a run through um of everything that we've done in this session um nine i think we have nine videos in the end um i can't honestly remember what, um how those were split but i think we did anyway um you can pick those up anytime you want. So don't don't worry about, you know, well, I have to rush through it because you don't. Just take time and enjoy it. But let's have a look at what I've actually got so far. So I'll tip you down a bit um, so that you can see. So just a reminder, really, um, for most of these, this was one of the first ones we did. This was with stencils. I still love the pants off this one. Totally adore it. Um, so many of these I would like to make more screens, make bigger pieces. I just think as some of these colour combinations, um, I'm just really, really loving on these. So I'm t just so pleased with them all. Um, this is quite a nice big piece, actually. This one, this was done. This was a really good screen, wasn't it? It just, it just Well, it wasn't a good breakdown screen, in fact, because it didn't break down very fast at all. In fact, it virtually didn't break down on this one. But I just love this piece of cloth. I think it's absolutely um it's just lush it's beautiful gorgeous colors i think we've got bluebell turquoise and that's either in i think that's inca gold isn't it on there really really lovely i think that's been a really nice for me as i've used colors that i maybe haven't used before um this one was my spoons and they're all some really different ones as well you know this is quite a tropical feel isn't it um not as tropical as another one coming but it does have that tropical feel and that's totally down to the lime in it isn't it because it's got robin eggs and turquoise but you know so have many other cloths i've got it's the lime i think and um, perhaps the pine but i think i think without the pine it would still have that feel it's if you take the turquoise out it would make big not the turquoise this lime out it would make such a big difference but that's got pine lime robin eggs and I think pale turquoise in there. And that's um, that's a, that's a really nice one. That's more of a sort of classic breakdown look to it, I think. This one, I absolutely love the pants off. This is my... Um, that was the tile underlay. And I mean, that's just got me so happy. For a girl that likes grids, you're just in seventh heaven with that lot, aren't you? Uh, and I can't... I just can't wait to do something with these. That, and, and I'm loving how soft and gorgeous they all feel. I'm not used to things feeling soft and gorgeous. You know, most of the stuff I do, such a lot of it's on paper or if it's on fabric, I don't bother washing it, you know, and it's crusty and it looks great in a piece of textile art because you would never ever know, but it's just a joy for me to have big piles of gorgeous, soft, laundered linen. You know, I feel I've got laundered linen here. So that was another absolute corker. This <laughs> This was the naughty little alphabet, I believe. Is, is this the naughty alphabet? I think it is. It's impossible to tell because you can't tell there's an alphabet in it, but the colours tell me there were. So this was the naughty alphabet, but what an interesting piece of fabric it's made anyway and a lovely, interesting collection of colours. I'm loving this is Sienna um, in here. And I think that Sienna up against the Robin Eggs Blue is just... An absolutely beautiful, beautiful combination. Then with the slate grey going through and there's some ordinary grey where it's paled out and we've got um, some lime and chartreuse in there. So a complete mishmash of colours. But again, I'm really liking that. Didn't like it to begin with, but I do now. Oh, no, I think, was this the first one I did that I said how I felt had a kind of sort of kimono look to it? And I still think it has. I don't know whether it's these balls. That feels like a sort of, and this, actually, they're both quite Japanese-y type prints. Um, I think this might have been the first one. I'm going to say that about every cloth now, aren't I? But I just love this too. Um, I'm trying to remember the colours on this one. You can see that's Inca Gold. And that's Ice Blue, Robin Eggs Blue. I think this is probably Lime that has gone through a blue screen by the looks of it. Or it might have been a different colour. I can't remember now. This is lilac. No, lavender. It's either lavender or lilac. I can't remember. Was it lavender we were using? That's lavender. 
beautiful again i just can't wait to make something out of these um you know watch this space. i may make cushions i even feel cushions coming on me i just do because i think they're so beautiful i want to showcase them um this is just so nice i want to be sick this is another one that i just absolutely just worked like a dream that was the fossil blocks um, a breaking down and it's it's hard to describe how much I love that it's got everything I love we've got nautiluses beachy feel and um, blues what's not to like and that's just in um, ice blue robin eggs and turquoise and what a beautiful combination that one is and this one here um, which is one of the new ones I've got that I've done um, you, you'll have seen I've put a photo of it. This is just in ice blue and robin eggs. And the turquoise makes quite a lot of difference, doesn't it? You can see on those two cloths, it really kicks it up. But those would go beautifully together. I'll show you that one in a minute because um, it's a bit different. Love that. There isn't one of them I don't like. You know, there's a couple that I've thought, oh, I don't like while I'm doing them. But actually, when, when I'm done with them, I love them. Of course, I love this. This is a classic. It's going to need some working back into. Um... You know, the, the imagery is broken down, isn't it? That's what you'd expect. But I really love these. Um, my mid-century flowers and vases. I'm just, I'm really enjoying this theme, really enjoying this. this is a totally different take on it. You know, it's so, <laughs> it's so different to the other works I've been making. I'm just glancing up at one there um, from mixed media. It's as different as chalk and cheese, really. Um, but I'm loving that. And this, I'm really, this um, this is the optic white cotton. And it comes out beautifully soft. These have got no fabric conditioner in. Um, just washed with comfort in the washing machine. And they've come out beautifully. Um, this is a long, thinny. Um, Again, we've got this. This was the Beach Pebbles, which I still haven't managed to get on the website. But one of these days I will. Um, and this was the gate. So this is stencils again. And again, I, just, I, love, I love the pattern. I love the way it's laid out. And I absolutely adore the colours on this. The colours are fabulous. And this sort of blocking um, is, well, I just like it. I just like things laid out like that. So another Gorgio one. This was the one done with, and this was another one that I didn't like really while I was doing it, but I do now. And I went back into it, I think, with the edge of um, a spatula and added more of these lovely linear marks. And I think that's made that quite an exciting piece of cloth. And um, colour-wise, we've got ice blue, pale turquoise. I don't know if that's ink or gold, or that is ink or gold, that's chartreuse, no, that's ink, that's ink or gold, it's ink or gold, it's not chartreuse, and this looks to me like bluebell, that looks like bluebell on there as well, um, and some slate grey, so that's a delicious one, this one is probably my least favourite of them, and this is one actually where I just used up um, old screens, and I don't honestly know, I'm trying to remember why, I must have done this with you, what was I printing here? Oh, I know what it was. It was the screen. It was the screen with the um, mesh with the fence on. And the it was the screen with the fence on. And then I put bubble wrap through the fence. And I hadn't managed to get the fence to hold very well in the Manutex. And it broke down very, very quickly, which is why I've got such a lot of yellowy green blobbing on it. And I put um, some water soluble glue um, on the screen to give me some extra marks and I don't dislike this piece of fabric but it's in colours it's yellow it's very very yellow this um, and the pattern in it isn't graphic enough to get over that for me if it had been very graphic and yellow I might have I might have coped better um, but I still like it and I can certainly see it's going to be extremely useful for me and get it down into smaller bite-sized pieces like that and i really do like it you know often when you're looking at the whole mass particularly if it's a color that you don't find easy you're not going to want to approach it you kind of think oh get back yellow and yellow is a color like that for me you know it's it's one that i have a very love-hate relationship with so anything that's all yellow i'm in my immediate reaction is to kind of pull away from it um and there'll be colors that are like that for you um but that one so break it down and i can love it this one um is one that i didn't didn't do this on the stream um but having seen um tina put up one where she'd used floppy disks 
I thought, oh, well, I'm going to have to do that. And of course, I couldn't find any floppy disks, but the idea of doing a screen was there, and I'd got one just sitting waiting. Um, so I didn't have floppy disks, but I did have old DVDs. So I've got some old CDs and DVDs here, and even I had a mini disk, which was a joy, this little one here. So it gave me two different sizes of circles. And then I filled the screen with a credit card, um, which stupidly I put on. I mean, you could read the numbers on it, except that, of course, it's a breakdown print, so you can't. Um, and I absolutely love this cloth. This is, this is again, ice blue, robin eggs blue. And um, this is on a different fabric. This is on um, a linen look cotton that I used to sell. I don't have it anymore. But I, mean, I think I'm going to have to try and source it again because I'm loving it. You can see better on the back the graining in it. It's really got a lovely, quite prominent linen grain. And I'm really, really liking that on there. And, it, and it's so soft. It is beautifully soft. And then this one, um, and I loathe, I really didn't get on with this one while I was doing it. And I still, again, have got a bit of mixed feelings. And it's not even yellow. It's my favourite colours. Um, this was my elastic bands. And they just didn't, they didn't break down how I wanted them to. They kind of, they wouldn't break down. They wouldn't break down. And then they, so I was getting this sort of patterning. And that was, that was fine. That was okay. But I wanted a bit more. So I thought, oh, I'll do them on paper and get them broken down quickly. So I did this one on paper, which I absolutely love. I mean, I think that's beautiful. I really like that on paper. I think I just did one on paper. That looks like elastic bands too. Is that elastic bands too? I think that is. I th mm, I'm not sure. I think that is elastic bands too in the middle with turquoise. And then, of course, having done that, they broke down incredibly quickly. So I got these much bigger marks. So as a whole cloth, that's not something I would I like as a whole cloth. But again, um, I fold it into areas. And there are pieces that I would find, you know, even one there with a big blob on. I think that's a lovely piece of fabric for using in something. So I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with those. I did all my sketchbook pages. These ones still need perhaps a bit more, so I'm keeping them. These were done with the elastic bands. Um, the elastic bands, that was the elastic bands when it was really breaking down. And you can see it just then blobbed off great cruds of dye here. Um, and I blotted that onto here, so I've got a bit of pattern on there. But they need more on, so I'm keeping those out to use in the next sessions. And then I had lots of other hang on oh these are my paper prints hang on i've got paper prints that's right this is beautiful i absolutely love it my alphabet screen didn't play on fabric but boy did it play on um paper it's absolutely gorgeous and of course this is layout paper and i use it for stitching all the time um and i am a really really Super happy with that piece of paper. Um, that was um, some of the screen with the those things, the fossil blocks on, um, which I think is another. Again, it's a bit grotty, it's a bit messy, the whole thing, but take some areas out. I'm sure that's going to be useful. These are beautiful. I'm really, really pleased with them. So I've got this one. This has got a big smear at the top where I've obviously changed colour, but I still love it. And I've got this one. And I've coated all of these in acrylic wax to hold the dye. Um, this one. I've got this one. So I've got quite a few of these on paper, actually. This one, which might be a blot. It's very pale. And that one which is definitely a block because it's super pale, but there's nothing there just for me to go over. Um, and I don't mind having, in fact, I quite like having pieces like that because they're, they're duffers to work into and yet another one to work into. So I'm totally, totally happy. In fact, there's one on deli there. There's two on deli there. There's two on deli paper here as well. Probably blocks, but these, again, I am absolutely certain I could work with these and you see because this is quite imagery and that I really love I don't mind that yellow at all weird isn't it weird color fascinating fascinating thing um 
So those are my papers, which are all good for stitching. These are my sketchbook pages that I've done. I said, you know, I was going to print off onto cartridge paper. These, I have sealed all of these also with matte wax um, so that these aren't going to slide around when I start using them as a base for something else. So these could be a sketchbook, but I mean, I could use these for collage. I absolutely love them. You know, some of them are a bit, I mean, that's very plain, isn't it? But um, a lot of them, I really, really, really like. They're quite murky. Um, but I think they're just super, to use that word. I think they're really, really interesting. That's the little piece I did. Um, I just think they're great. I think they're fantastic. Such useful bits of paper, as I say, either for collage or I will highly likely make a sketchbook out of these. This all got a bit murky here on this one. I don't know what went on there. That side's a little, little less dramatic. Some paleys. There's some great big cruds of dye on there, but it's all, it's all sealed up. You see, I love that sort of yellow when it's gone goldeny and it's knocked back. I think that's an absolutely beautiful page. I love the pants off that. And there's my gorgeous alphabet block. I said that print, and I'm still tempted to take out and frame that print. I just love it. And another lovely golden one on the back. So I've got a big pile of sketchbook pages. I've got a big pile of papers to use in work. Um, I've got a huge pile of fabrics. And I've also got a nice big pile of blotters, which I can use some really nice blotting papers, some with lots on, some with just a bit on. But all of these will get used for making collages because I really like having transparent papers for collage. They make collage very, very interesting. I mean, these, I, these, 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 those will be precious to me. Um, I'll be wanting more blocks like that, of that gorgeous, gorgeous grid. Um, I can just see that going over things. And then I also have to keep, because I got some really yummy um under under cloth i mean this was my flip chart pad i tend to call it a drop cloth but it's the flip chart pad and i just really like the patterns on quite a lot of these so i've kept obviously that's a bit of one that i've kept but i can see why because i think that's a strip of beautiful off print whoa that's my gritty one and that's um i think that might be the i'm not sure what that is that could be the nautilus blocks couldn't it that's that lovely beach one. So I've got a big pile of these as well. So I feel I have got richness out of those sessions. Um, it may have been nine sessions. That's quite a lot of work. But the amount of material I've got to use here is phenomenal. Um, and I'm just absolutely delighted with the whole lot of it. So I hope that's been interesting for you to see what we've been doing. Um, and I shall post this up the day before your um, session and we are going to be next time printing with natural items, nature items, um, which is also really exciting. And I think it's fair to say I may have set up quite a few screens for that. So I think we'll probably be getting another lovely pile of materials, although who knows, maybe this time they'll all release really quickly, which can happen. Um, and we won't get the same numbers, but let's see. So I'm really looking forward to that and I will talk to you soon. Bye now. Bye.